You're watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH-TV, Hampton's Television. In our behind the scenes look here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show, who do we catch up with? But Peter Leone. Peter, tell us what we're looking at here. So this is the schooling area where the horse and riders warm up, do their practice jumps before they walk in through that tower into the big main arena here at the Hampton Classic. So this is where the, all the homework is done. The horses get prepped, they jump, and then they go into the ring and compete. So they actually go in with a little bit of practice, a little bit of sweat, Sure, sure. I mean, go. no different than uh, the baseball players do some hitting practice before the game starts on the field. They toss and catch, throw and catch the ball. Basketball, they shoot some, you know, they get out there and shoot a little bit before game time. That's exactly what's happening back here. Now, you have a rider that's scheduled to go in, right? I have, I have three riders that are warming up for the next class. It's the high amateur jumpers. That's meter 40, meter 45. And I'll tell you, they're so excited to get out there on this beautiful grass field at the Hampton Classic. I mean, this is the, the highlight of their year. So as their coach, you're actually looking now and seeing what they're doing and... Yeah, we're, and right now, we're getting the, the horse's muscles warm, no different than any athlete going into competition. And the other thing is we're getting the buttons in place. The horse is, you know, uh, getting the, you know, the ride ability, the ability to make the horse have a big stride, a short stride, turn with accuracy, because the, the courses are so technical. The, the long strides, the short stride, the turns, the questions that the courses enter asked, you've got to have, you know, fine, fine detailed buttons in place. And that's, that's what they're practicing Can right we talk now. talk a little bit about the uh, composition of the, uh, sure, of the sure. playing field? This what is not what the we're grass. looking at right here is all weather footing. Uh, it's a sand uh, felt rubber base that drains very, very well. It, it gives the horses a feeling of a soft tumbling mat and it holds up very, very well in the Looks rain. very, very fluffy there. Yeah, well, that's, this is just recently groomed. So it's got a softness to it, so it's not like you're jumping on a hard road, but yet it's got a firmness to it that the horses can get a good push off the ground. So it, it's, it's really fantastic and interestingly enough, you basically have this ground underneath the grass in the main arena. Is that right? So we're really, there's grass grown on top of an all-weather footing base. And that, that was the big investment and change that was made right after last year's Excellent. Hampton Classic in preparation for this year. Well, thank you for this little peek behind the scenes. Sure. Peter will be joining us in the broadcast booth in a little while as we bring today's major class, but you'll also be competing in that I'll class. I'll be jumping. I'll be jumping. I'm going to introduce my a young nine-year-old to the, uh, the field here at the Hampton Classic in preparation for tomorrow's Grand Prix qualifier. Thank you, Peter. It's always a pleasure not only working with you, but catching up with you on this behind-the-scenes look here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show. Great to be with you, Ernie. See you later.
The big responsibility of feeding all these people here at the Hampton Classic rests upon this man and his partner's shoulders. Robbins Wolf, it's so great catching up with you. and Always wonderful to see you. So what's on the menu today for our, uh, for our guests well, here? Well, we just did a hospitality for an organization called Team Velvet that's wonderful, that uses ponies to work with uh, kids who've suffered traumatic um, issues, whether it's uh, abuse, sexual assault, etc. Oh. The lunches in the tent, everything from salmon, sandwiches, sliced steak, barbecue, grilled, everything that's all good, farm fresh vegetables, corn salads. Um, we feature a buffet, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a walk-up buffet with all sorts of, you know, platters. There's, there's, there's something for everybody. And by the end of the week, we will have fed thousands of people. The premier catering organization that's been part of this Hampton Classic going back a while, right? I think we've been here now going on 25 years if not more. So if you want to know what the greatest food is for an organization like the Hampton Classic, go to, what's the website? It's robinswolf.com, www.robinswolf.com in the Hamptons in New York City. We'd love to hear from you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, we love our tables here at the Hampton Classic. You know, awards are given out for the best table, and I'm with Kim and Jane. But you have a you have a good story here to tell us. We're, we're we do. It's a hundred years of equestrian programming at Mount Holyoke College, the oldest women's college in the country, founded in 1837 in South Hadley, Massachusetts. And how many horses do we have at the stables now? We have 44 of our own horses. We attract young riders from all over the world who are attracted to our equestrian program, which is usually the number one collegiate equestrian program in in the country. We win nationals almost every year. Uh, so we're so happy to be here and celebrate with all the other equestrians here. Yeah, and it's a very strong liberal arts education for people who love to ride and you don't have to be on a team. Although we do field three teams as well as an um, athletic program for riders. This is so cool. <laughs> and you're here, you, you've got, uh, you're going to be entertaining your guests? Yes, we have 25 uh, alumni who are attending today for lunch. Well, we love this. Bringing an institution like Mount Holyoke College well, here the at the Hampton of, Classic? The director of the Hampton Classic is a graduate as well. So that's why we're welcomed You're every saying year. Shanette? Shanette. Shanette, yes. Shanette Cohen? Oh yes. my. Wow. Class of 1993 from Mount Holyoke College. Wow, who knew? Yes. This is great now stuff. you know. <laughs> this is great stuff. Thank you. How could our, uh, if our viewers are interested in knowing about the college and the equestrian program, do you have a website? I definitely have a stuff? website. Visit our website. It's mountholyoke.edu. M-T-H-O-L-Y-O-K-E dot E-D-U. How wonderful. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. Thank you so much. So I'm with Susan and Barbara, and it's VIP hospitality. Correct. Tell us about that. Well, we greet the hosts and our people coming in and help them to their tables, and sometimes they have guests who we have to direct to their tables, so we're just kind of a welcome committee. Now, this is a very important table because the people that come into this Indeed. VIP area are pretty, uh, pretty famous. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, they want to come up. They're enjoying the show. They're having a great time. They're watching their friends ride with some summer family members. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun up here. It's a big party. It really is. It really it's a big, is. one big party. But yeah. it's a quality 
experience, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. This is so much fun, and we have such great people coming in here that we know, we see from show to show, so it's just meeting family again. If our viewers are lucky enough to have an invitation to the VIP tent, you'll be su seeing Susan and Barbara, and they'll give you that VIP treatment. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I don't understand? These are two of the most important people here at the Hampton Classic. They're part of the press committee yes. and you guys shoot anything and everything and now I'm, I'm watching that you're actually eating you're taking a break we don't normally mind eat if this. I uh... um, no go right ahead we <laughs> don't normally eat but today with well, a little the action has stopped right so we do it while we can and then we don't eat the rest of the week Lisa Tamburini yes. and Lenny Stucker yes, I could see from your name plate your name hasn't changed very observant. That's what makes you a journalist, honestly. Why well, they pay me the, the small bucks. <laughs> and, and I see on your shirt you're with WVVH. Very Absolutely. excellent programming. Thank you so much. And in, all, in all seriousness, you guys do a heck of a job covering the Hampton Classic. And how many years have you done it now, Ernie? We've been doing this since 1996, and we haven't gotten fired yet, so we must be doing something well, I did Hopefully hear right. Scuttlebutt, but I... <laughs> I heard it too, but I'm not... I'm so, not Le to talk about Lisa, it. do you have any compliments for me while I'm walking around here? And, uh... Not at the moment, Ernie. Um, if you come back after I finish eating so my mouth wouldn't be full, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Could you think of something? So, you know, no <laughs> normally my brother doesn't let me out of the broadcast booth, so this is, this is rarefied air for me come out and talk to the crowd is that it it sure is okay enjoy your lunch and thank, you. and thank you for all the work you guys do it's a pleasure thank you for stopping by i i will i'll do it again maybe here at the vip tent we're with our dear friend you know you worked for vvh for a number of years uh, it was my best job uh, <laughs> it was our our honor to have you be our uh, person at Polo mm -hmm. and at the Hampton Classic Film Festival. Michael Braverman, Michael, Champagne and the Hampton Classic come together, don't they? Well, you know, the show is an equestrian event, but it's also lifestyle. <laughs> it really is. We're all about a beautiful field, the fields. And and look at these tables, how beautifully appointed, yeah. ready to go. And you've been part of the Hampton Classic for a while, haven't you? I've Barely missed a day in 44 years. Well, it wouldn't be the Hampton Classic without you, Michael. You're uh, known as a premier real estate broker, owner of a company here in the Hamptons. But more than that, it's what you do for the community, which is what we really uh, applaud you for. Thank you, and I have to say, you two are very much a part of the Classic and the community as well. Well, we're very proud to lend our support give our viewers a chance to see what the Hampton Classic is all about and to be with you. One question for you. What do you think of our beautiful new Grand Prix ring? Spectacular. To say that the work that was done, the commitment of the Hampton Classic executive board and committee and, and Jeanette and her crew, they really, what a team effort. And it is phenomenal. From what we're hearing from the riders, as you've been hearing, mm -hmm. they love it. Yeah, it was a very big decision, maybe the biggest decision the board has ever made because of the expense, but uh, we're, we're delighted. <laughs> well worth it, well worth it. Our viewers are in store for a lot of uh, great equestrian action leading to Grand Prix Sunday. If I could talk to you about, you know Grand Prix Sunday very, very well. For our viewers, tell us a little bit about what happens here in this VIP tent on Grand Prix Sunday. Well, for many people, it's the big social day. Of course, the Grand Prix event is also a premier um, equestrian class. Um, but many people come here that day. It's, it's filled, as you know, um, to see and be seen, to see their friends, to watch the show. People make a really big effort on their tables and um, their clothes. What a party, huh? <laughs> and it's. How else should you end the summer with this party? <laughs> Excellent. Michael, we'll catch up with you on Grand Prix Sunday because our cameras will be uh, roving around, and we look forward to seeing you then. Meanwhile, enjoy that well-earned champagne for all the great work you do. Always good to see you.
pleasure. I love having you and your friends here in the Grand Prix tent. Oh, thank you. Chris, Chris Robbins, yes. Robbins Wolf. Yes. This event, you guys are, when I think of the Hampton Classic, I always think of Robbins Wolf. Well, you know, I'm grateful and lucky. We've been the uh, official VIP caterer since 1995. And the way that you can achieve that in, in this crazy world of catering that I work in is it's all about consistency. So one year if you come and you love everything and the next year you come and it's not so good, everybody at the horse show office is going to be looking for a new caterer. So being consistent is very key to this longevity. I mean, next year is our, next year is our 20th anniversary of being the uh, exclusive VIP caterer, so I'm thrilled. Consistent excellence. Let's look at your table here. This is part of what the Hampton Classic is all about. It's not only the great food, exquisite food, but the ambiance. Yes, of course. So I'm grateful also because uh, Lily Fell from right here in Bridgehampton, she d designed the, the flowers for the table. And Laura Thorne from Party Rental Limited, one of our other partners here at the Horse Show, she and, and Lily worked together in, in the Party Rental showroom in Watermill and created the look of the table. And then they send it to me and I approve. All right, tell us <laughs> what's the menu today? So, the, so we, today we have uh, several different options because we're here in the Grand Prix tent. There's 190 tables. And so potentially there's hundreds and hundreds of people wanting lunch at the same time. So we have a concession that we offer uh, at the end of the tent where people can walk up and order a Caesar, a Caesar salad with chicken or a hot dog, that sort of thing. Then the next step up is we have a buffet where people can pay $45 and they can have uh, the brochettes of chicken, the shrimp cocktail, uh, various things, uh, other uh, entrees, uh, beet salad and uh, seared uh, swordfish, we have a whole interesting selection of food, and, and that, but that's like a step up. And then the third is that you can actually order a la carte from our, from our package that we have. If you go to our website, um, there's a if you scroll down on the home page, there's a, a horse jumping at the bottom, and there's a little box that says menu, and in that is, shows all the menus that we serve here at the Horse Show. Robin's Wolf, you're part of the class of the Hampton Classic. I love that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Continued success. And I love watching VVH on, on uh, channel 44, what is it, 44 or 72 out here in Suffolk County. 78 and 14. Oh, 78, sorry. And we love watching those horses come around our field and it's, enjoying this. I mean, literally, being right here on, the, on, on you know, ringside is really just a, a, such a treat, and I'm delighted and thrilled to always be here. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'll send them. We love <laughs> so great being here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show, and we're with a very special friend of ours, who not only is a friend of ours, but a friend of a lot of people here. You're throwing some party. Bridgehampton National Bank's President, Kevin O'Connor. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Uh, thank you. It's, uh, it's a great to be here again. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We're looking forward to entertaining about 150 of our closest friends. Every day there's 150 of your bank participants yes, who yes, are here. Yes. But let's talk about Bridgehampton National Bank has been part of the Hampton Classic for, for a while. Oh, I think it's over 20 years. Uh, and uh, it's just been an exciting time. We've watched it grow. Uh, our organization has grown over the last dozen years from 600 million to over 4 billion. Uh, and so we continue to entertain. This is a way to say thank you to our customers, uh, to show them the beauty of the Hamptons, which you do every year. Uh, you couldn't have asked for a more magnificent day. Uh, the stadium looks great. Uh, they've made an investment in the turf here, and then it's going to be better than it's ever been. And so we're just excited. In the evolution, it's now BNB Bank. Yes, it is, sir. And BNB Bank has some foothold here in this this whole Long Island, New York market. Uh, you know, we have we have over 500 employees on Long Island, um, 40 branches. Uh, we span from Montauk to Manhattan. Uh, providing sort of community-based banking services, the loans and the deposits that business people need. Uh, and uh, it's just, uh, it's great to be able to help entrepreneurs uh, and business owners, help them grow their businesses, hire people, uh, get involved in building the homes people live in. Uh, it's very gratifying to being a, a Long Islander to watch Long Island grow and be part of it. Well, your loan program, whenever I drive around here on Long Island, I see that B&B &B sign. Funding B and B, yes. and if you're a business person, you need to have a banking relationship. And B and B maintains the way it used to be, where you know who you're dealing with, and they go that extra mile for you. Well, B and B Bank is not just about the bank; it's about the bankers. Uh, you know, we'll have 25 people here today, and these are they're there with their customers. Uh, they become trusted business advisors. Uh, you know, I love to see those signs too, because it means we're out there in the community supporting growth. 
Uh, I think our customers appreciate the ability to work with us in crafting financing that makes sense for them. Uh, it's not a cookie cutter approach. It's really working with customers, finding out what their needs are, and delivering those needs. And the website is? Uh, it's bnbbank.com. Excellent. Thank you for all you do. If not for BNB Bank, this event, which is a charity event, the Hampton Classic Horse Show, wouldn't be possible in your sponsorship of horseability yes. and all of the other things you guys do. You, you're, you're terrific, and we uh, really we, appreciate it. We try it. to give back to the community. I mean, we, we benefit from the community, and we, we make sure we try to give back. Well, thank you so much, and we're looking forward to this great party here today at B&B Bank here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show. Thank Many you. more years to come. Thank you. We're coming to you from Bridgehampton, New York, which is part of Suffolk County. Right. And I'm with a Suffolk County official. Oh, employee. employee? Not official. Well, that's even Officials better. Officials are elected by the constituency. Is that right? So I, employees. I was hired, not. Uh, well, that's not even elected. better. <laughs> <laughs> this is Diana Cherry Holmes, who's also chair of the uh, Suffolk County Film Commission. Right. Yeah. That means I get to work with a great group of people uh, on the commission that are appointed by the Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone. Um, including your brother Greg Shimizzi, um, and he loves that job even more so than <laughs> working here at WVBH. <laughs> but yours is a and your committee, right, is a very important job because you help promote what we do: television, that's right, movies. That's could, right. Can we let people know what's going on out there? Well, our office does a number of things for the film industry. Um, we serve as kind of a clearinghouse, a liaison to all the other municipalities and towns that have their own film permits. So we can really kind of break it down for them depending on where they want to shoot, at what specific address. And, and help guide them in that direction. Um, we can assist in uh, any kind of problem solving that they might be having with their film shoot, their production shoot, getting to a production shoot, meaning the pre-production. Um, and most importantly, we uh, process the permits uh, for shooting on any kind of Suffolk County property. So um, from, 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 if I may, from a student film, Right. To a major motion yeah. picture of... Yeah, from a student film um, project for their PhD or MFA or whatever, um, to uh, The Affair, which is a major, major shoot. Um, and The Affair, last season, right now, um, just began this past week. No, but you mentioned The Affair, which is Showtime. Yes. So we're going to give equal time to HBO. I okay. love this new show called Succession. Succession! Okay, so uh, in all truth, I missed the opening uh, episode of this season. However, I do know that Ohika Castle um, was featured, yep, um, yep. and that is located in Huntington, New York, which is in Suffolk County. Absolutely beautiful property. Um, they're not the first uh, to pick that great, great location to shoot in. Um, by the way, the staff there are seasoned professionals with the film industry. Now, a little interesting aside, I'm yeah. such a big fan of that show. They made it seem as if they were going on a, uh, a hunting expedition to oh. Hungary. Oh, really? But it really was this Ohiga. I love it. I the love castle it. castle in... In Suffolk County. Hey, we have been West Virginia, we have been Florida, I mean, you name it. It's really great how Suffolk County can be so many other places, and in this instance, Hungary. Um, other uh, shows that have utilized Ohika Castle are um, Taylor Swift in one of her videos. 
uh, Royal Pains, which everyone knew yes. very well because they filmed for so many seasons out here. Um, uh, I'm, I know Project Runway. Amazing. Project Runway has, also has shot an episode there. It's amazing. Yeah. You know what I love also, and you've done, you've given this, uh, uh, you've mentioned this in previous interviews with me that whatever you need, if you need a western scene, you can go to the yeah. Teddy Roosevelt. You or, know, yeah. in uh, Montauk or whatever. And yeah, you, we have some great... Uh, it's amazing what Suffolk County offers. Mm. But you also, in your um, capacity as a... Uh, I won't call you an... You're not an official, no. but you're a, an employee. Yeah. Uh, also supporting major uh, events that occur, cultural right, events. Right, right. Like uh, for film in particular, uh, we have the Hamptons Film Festival coming up. October 11th, I believe, um, yes. and then we also have the North Fork TV Festival, which is the weekend beforehand, before that, um, October 5th. I uh, might be getting my dates, give or take, but those are two major events that are going to be taking place very shortly. Um, we also support the Stoller Center Film Festival, which is really terrific. It's um, and uh, the new um, Manhattan Film Institute project that takes place in Greenport during the summer in, in August, yeah. So the Suffolk County Film Commission and the work you do, right. how do you quantify the results of what you're doing? Because there are a lot of film commissions all across the country. That's, that's difficult to quantify because not every shoot comes through our office, so we are not aware of everything that's going on. Um, and we count on our friends and members of the film commission to alert us when they see something going on in their neighborhood. Um, uh, so yeah, but we know it's it's a lot and it's frequent. And but you're rated you know, up there as a, a film commission, aren't oh, you? Oh yeah, I mean we do great work. Um, I'm really proud of our team. Um, it's uh, on the staff. It's myself. It's Aaron Reyes and Jackie McCormick, and we really try to provide the best service possible. And let's not let's not forget our leader in all of this. Oh, Steve Ballone, Yes, and we have a new acting commissioner of economic development and planning, Natalie Wright. But I got some really great news I want to share with you about Suffolk and Nassau counties. The SMU um, Creative Index just released this week that out of the top 40 ranked large um, communities or cities, metropolitan areas, the Nassau Suffolk County comes in 16 out of the top 40 uh, of having the uh, best vibrancy for creativity in, in our communities. So we are just tap dancing uh, at H. Lee Denison. Um, with this great news because we always knew it and it's really nice to be recognized by an official study by an independent source uh, that we are number 16 out of the top 40. Wow, with limited budgets but a lot of, of person power yeah. the creative team that you've put together. We're very proud of what you guys do. Thank you. We know the impact it means to Suffolk County. Thank you. Because having a, a, a vibrant Suffolk County Film Commission and uh, someone in, in Steve Ballone who supports these events Very much, yeah. affects everyone, all of the people that work in this industry. And you got, I know Steve is going to be here for the Hampton Classic, Grand Prix yeah, Sunday? Yeah, Grand Prix Sunday. All right, yeah. we're looking forward to catching up with Steve oh, good. and all the other dignitaries. Thank you so much, Diana. Oh, you're welcome. Continued good work. The re website for Suffolk County Film Commission. SuffolkCountyFilmCommission.com and for the cultural arm, the cultural left right hat um, is suffolkartsandfilm.com
watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH-TV, Hampton's Television.